básicamente yo iba allí y yo hacía mis abdominales normales, pero como mi herida está tan fea, yo sé de que necesito un cirujano. Eso no es el jean. ¿Sí me entiendes? Cuando me pongo un bikini se ve como que como que el hundido de mi herida. Entonces eso no es de jean, eso no es un cirujano el que me tiene que ayudar. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, ¿Qué, gracias. Bien? ¿Qué cirugía está interesada? Mm, me molesta esta parte de mi barriga, del ombligo para abajo. Okay. Es la parte que más me incomoda de mi cuerpo. Okay. ¿Dos niños? Sí. So, uh, cirugía, un aumento de los senos, uh -huh. una quista ovaria, uh -huh. otra cirugía, penicitis, no. vesícula, nada. ¿Tiene que probar un medicamento, presión nata, diabetes, asma, tiroides, no. eclimio? No. ¿Toma un medicamento? Eh, ¿Pastilla de anticonceptivo? Okay. ¿Pastilla de anticonceptivo? ¿Ventermin? No. Nada. Ok. Ok. Let's take a look. Okay, so, you know, when I'm looking at her abdomen, certain things that I'm, I'm looking at to decide which operation to do. And everybody always comes in, you know, who's had a couple of children and they're thinking, you know, do they want a tummy tuck? Do they want liposuction? So, the things that we're looking at, you can see, she has a little bit of loose skin here. She's, she's had two children in the past. She has a, a, a C-section incision right here. So you can see, inclinato un poquito, you can see when she bends over, she has this loose skin here. And she wants as, as flat as humanly an abdomen as possible. So in her case, and she's got a, a little bit of fat here, and she has um, some widening of the stomach muscles, which is called rectus diastasis, which is not uncommon for anyone who's had multiple children. So the best operation for her is gonna be a tummy tuck, where we actually make an incision. The incision goes lower than her C-section incision, which I would put right down here, always in, in the bikini line, kind of goes from hip to hip, and typically, in this area, we're gonna cut off all the skin. So most of her stretch marks that are in this zone of where I'm gonna cut off the skin are gonna be removed. I tighten up the muscle, corsera musculo, from top to bottom. There's an incision around the belly button. The belly button stays put, the skin gets pulled over it, and we bring the belly button back out. Also, to get rid of this fat here, I do some liposuction here. And then you can see, when you're looking at her from the back, you know, back here, especially in this flank areas, you know, everybody wants to get that curve. They want this, this type of a look. So I would liposuction the back to bring all of this, this, this flank fat right here, this lower back, this flank thing, remove it, brings in the waistline like this, gets that curve here, gets that curve here, gets that hourglass figure that everybody wants. So, you know, and for the liposuction, we do the liposuction up here through two little incisions in here, which get cut off, and then in the back. You know, everyone always asks well, where we do the, uh, the incisions. One incision is very low in between the buttocks. Two little incisions in, in the dimples. I make two incisions in the armpit here, which are hidden. Then there's typically two incisions, very small, about three to four millimeters in, in a natural fold here, which allows us to attack this and to attack that. So that's pretty much, you know, what we're looking at when we're doing the, the uh, consultation and you know in her case because she has the loose skin from having the two children you know for her to get a super flat abdomen it's better for her to do a tummy tuck and that's what she wants because if you just did liposuction when we're doing liposuction all we're doing is removing the fat the skin has to contract back on its own and in, in people who have had children or people who've lost a lot of weight when they have some loose skin to begin with especially if there's a lot of stretch marks that skin doesn't contract back nicely. So, you know, in that case, you want to cut the skin. If, if someone has good skin tone, she'd be, she would have been a good candidate for liposuction. But in her case, she wants it super flat. She's had kids. She has some loose skin. She has stretch marks. Making the cut and pulling it down is going to be the best option for her.